8 hard. The watchword of Israel. Eight hard is the watchword of Israel. It is from the most important prayer of Judaism called the Shema. Hear, O Israel. The Lord is our God, the Lord is one, eight hard. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verses 4 to 5, NKJV. This important prayer serves as a reminder of the key principle of Judaism. There is only one God. Based on the word eight hard in the Shema, Orthodox Jews strongly believe that there is only one God. Notwithstanding, the Hebrew word Yehit expresses the idea of only one more appropriately. Yet, the word used in Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 is eight hard. Yehit is translated as the only one or the numerical one. In other words, solely or only. On the other hand, eight hard denotes that there is another or one that is with or united and unified. Eight hard is a Hebrew word that translates as one or unity. The essence of the word means being many parts yet one. It is oneness and unity and not a number. If God intended to portray the meaning of one as in the cardinal number one, he would have used the word Yahit and not eight hard. The idea of a triune God is on view. 1. God the Father, 2. God the Son, and, 3. God the Holy Spirit. When Jesus, the beloved Son of God, was baptized before he began his earthly ministry at 30 years old, God the Holy Spirit alighted upon him and God the Father audibly declared him to be his beloved Son in whom he is well pleased, Matthew 3 verses 16-17, Luke 3 verse 23, NKJV. The beloved Son of God came in the flesh as Jesus the Christ and was anointed with the indwelling Holy Spirit to preach the good news of God being in him to reconcile the world to himself, not imputing the trespasses to sinners, Matthew 3 verses 16-17, Luke 4 verses 18 and 21, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19, and KJV. The triune God was working in absolute unity and oneness when Jesus walked the earth. It is written in John 10 verse 30, NKJV, that Jesus said, I and my Father are one, eight hard. The word one in that verse is the same as the Hebrew word eight hard. Jesus was trying to tell the Jews that he is the one spoken of in the Shema, with the being the definite article to refer to the identified or specified people or things. This is accentuated by John 8 verse 18, NKJV. I am one who bears witness of myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness of me. The word one in the verse is the Greek definite article ho. In other words, Jesus is the one mentioned in Deuteronomy 6 verse 4. When Jesus walked the earth, he was trying to explain the truth of the Holy Trinity to the religious leaders. This is substantiated by John 10 verses 36 to 38, NKJV. Do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me, but if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. The Father is in me and I in him doing the works. We see the Holy Trinity in that passage of scriptures. 1. The Father, and, 2. The Son. But where is God the Holy Spirit in that passage of scriptures? The power of God the Holy Spirit is seen in the works of Jesus, Luke 4 verses 18 and 21, Acts 1 verse 8, Matthew 3 verses 16 to 17, and KJV. The power of God the Holy Spirit is seen in the works of Jesus, Luke 4 verses 18 and 21, Acts 1 verse 8, Matthew 3 verses 16 to 17, and KJV. All the miracles and wonderful things that Jesus did when he walked the earth were the manifestation of the power of God the Holy Spirit who indwelt him. Therefore, we see the triune God working in absolute oneness of unity in that passage of scriptures. As stated in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19, NKJV, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them. However, the religious leaders of Jesus' day rejected his testimony. Instead, they accused Jesus of blasphemy and wanted to stone him. 
This is recorded in John 10 verses 31 to 33, NKJV. Then the Jews took up stones again, to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my Father. For which of those works, do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself God. God the Father sent his beloved Son in the flesh as Jesus the Christ, being fully God and fully man as stated in Philippians 2 verses 5 to 8, Amplified Bible. Unfortunately, Jesus came to his own and his own received him not. As recorded in John 1 verse 11. Each Hebrew letter has a numerical value. Hebrew words or phrases with the same numerical values are believed to have related or interconnected meanings. Basically, it refers to reading words as numbers. This practice is known as gematria. Eight, hard, one, and ahava, love, are linked because their total numerical values are the same. With this in mind, we can read the Shema as follows. Here, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is eight hard, love, ahava, italics mine. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verses 4 to 5, paraphrased. The New Testament categorically states in 1 John 4 verses 8 and 16 that God is love. The word Lord is Yahweh in Hebrew. It is a name of God that is too sacred for the Jews to even utter. Consequently, the Jews refer to that sacred name as Adonai, my Lord, or Hashem, the name. It is widely accepted that Jesus is Yahweh. The numerical value of Yahweh is 26. It is twice that of Ahava. In other words, the love of God is magnified by Jesus. Many scholars disagree that Jesus is Yahweh because the letter J was unknown in any alphabet until the 14th century. Hence, it is argued that Jesus should be Jesus, a name derived from the Hebrew name Yeshua, meaning salvation or God saves. Our loving Father God looks at the heart, 1 Samuel 16 verse 7. Whether it is Jesus or Jesus, God the Father knows who you are talking about. And that is all that matters. Against this backdrop, let's take a look at the Shema again. Here, O Israel. Jesus is our God, Jesus is God's love magnified. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verses 4 to 5, paraphrased. Jesus is our good shepherd who willingly laid down his life for us, John 10 verses 11 and 18, NKJV. Jesus Christ and him crucified is the definitive display and proof of God's love for us, Romans 5 verse 8, 839, 1 John 4 verses 9 to 10, NKJV. In other words, God wants Israel to hear of his great and unconditional love for them through the beloved Son as Jesus Christ and him crucified. God wants our love, Hosea 6 verse 6, Living Bible. However, we can only love God in a way that we should only when we know just how much he first loved us, 1 John 4 verse 19, NKJV. Therefore, the Shema when read with the New Testament mindset will be as follows. Here, O Israel. The Lord, Yahweh, Jesus, is our God, the Lord, Yahweh, Jesus, is eight hard, God's love magnified. We love God because he first so loved us by sending his beloved son as Jesus, to die for our sins. Deuteronomy 6 verses 4 to 5, paraphrased. Yahweh, Jesus, speaks of God's great love for us. Christ and him crucified is the love of God for us personified. Therefore, God has given that sacred name of Yahweh to his beloved Son. Jesus is Yahweh because Christ and him crucified is the definite display and proof of God's love for us. Eight heart is associated with Ahava based on their respective numerical values. And the numerical value of Yahweh is twice that of Ahava. Christ crucified is God's love for us magnified. With the benefit of the New Testament, it is clear that eight hard refers to oneness and unity, and not an absolute one as an only one. The triune God worked in perfect oneness to reveal and prove just how much he loved us. To know that the triune God loves us with all his heart, mind, soul, and strength is the one thing needful, Luke 10 verses 38-42, NKJV. 
It is the truth of God's love that sanctifies us. Hear, O Israel! What manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. 1 John 3 verse 1, NKJV. Thank you for watching.